a power line sparked this house fire. Sky Fox over the scene as flames engulfed the home this afternoon. Luckily, it didn't spread to neighboring houses, but fire crews were stopped in their tracks when they tried to put it out. Fox 2's Taryn Ashley joins us now live in Royal Oak with what went wrong. Taryn. Yeah, Huel, they realized that this live wire had fallen onto this house, really electrifying the structure, making it nearly impossible for fire crews to fight the flames until DTE got here and cut the power. But it appears, obviously, they didn't get here in time. It's mortifying. I don't know. I, it's, I'm, I think we're still in shock because everything that we had is in there and it's gone. Jeremy and Ellen Schulte getting that dreadful call while they were at work. A live wire had fallen onto their Royal Oak house located on Mandalay Avenue near 14 Mile. They raced home not knowing just how bad it was. I'm like, everybody get out of my way. My house is on fire. And then you, you pull up and it's, it's your life. It's your life. All your photos, all your, I and mean, we don't have a change of clothes. All the stuff that we built together, we have to start all over. Neighbors say it started around 2.30 on Tuesday. This is video capturing the crackling wire the moment after it fell onto their back porch. I was just laying down watching TV. And next thing I know, I heard a big old blast and a bunch of popping in the backyard. Patrick Dutcher and his brother Timothy, who lived next door, were stunned by what they saw, but they knew they had to think fast. The Schulte's dog was still inside, and the fire was quickly spreading. We decided to say, screw it, the dog's inside, we kicked the door down. I ran inside, grabbed the dog, and as that happened, the house Golf and flames. Golf and flames. We picked them up and we bolted because you could feel the heat on our backs as we were leaving. It's good they got out when they did. Moments later, Royal Oak Fire showed up. By then, the lieutenant says the house was fully charged. The flames just too dangerous for firefighters to fight. They had to call DTE to cut the source of the power. They came from an office in Redford. So it takes them a bit to get here. Um, initially, they, they could not uh, find the source where it was the, where it was energized from in order to shut it down. So it took them quite a bit of time to get the power shut off. So essentially you're just sitting here watching the house burn. Essentially, yeah, and that's the biggest frustration for us. We've learned from the time DTE was called to the time they arrived and secured the scene shutting off power. It took about an hour and a half. By that time, firefighters were only able to help put out the flames on what was left of the charred structure. DTE spokesperson Erica Donerson says what happened is under investigation, but whenever someone loses a home, it is a tragedy. Securing a scene and making sure it is safe are top priorities, and that's what crews did as quickly as they could. But for the Schultes, well, to them, it wasn't fast enough. Definitely need to have an investigation to find out what's going on, if the power lines weren't maintained properly or what. Now you can see DTE crews right now live on the scene right now trying to figure out what exactly went wrong. That's where that live wire fell. All of this, though, is really reminiscent for people who lived around here. They said the first thing that they thought of is what happened a couple of years ago on Cooper Street. Uh, in, you remember in Royal Oak where a man was killed during a gas explosion, several homes damaged. They said that that noise, it made them think of that right of way. Obviously, this no injuries, luckily, um, and that was a gas explosion. This is obviously involving the power lines, the electrical lines. But uh, when this all happened, about 500 people did lose power. We're told all of those people have power once again tonight. We are live in Royal Oak. Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News. Back to you. Yeah, such a helpless feeling to have to stand there and, and watch it burn. What's next oh, for yeah. the couple? What are they doing? Uh, do they have a, a place to stay tonight? Well, Monica, luckily the couple has insurance, they tell me, but they were just renting this place. They have landlords, but luckily they had insurance as well. But of course, what's the hardest part for them to deal with is everything they can't replace, everything that was inside that house and burned up in the fire, the personal items, the photos, uh, things that they won't be able to replace. So that's what's really hard for them to deal with tonight. Yeah, but Back we're to glad you. they're okay. All right, thanks, Terry.